Hello, Victor here at RestoreMercedes.com and I haven't done any videos about this 2003 CL600. Now, people who actually seen my channel, they know that this car had an accident and the bumper was messed up and there was a lot of things that were pretty bad. Simon! Simon! Uh huh? Say something. Wanna say something? Uh huh? No, come over here. Oh, huh? oh, huh? he wants to rub against, but he's like scared. Shin, oh, shin, oh, shin. Oh, yeah, Simon says hello. Okay, get off the street. Don't be on the street like that. Oh, he's gonna be following me now. Well, anyway, let's just continue. <laughs> on our recording so here's the car and it took a while to do it and it's still not a hundred percent finished and uh, it needs some more work he came by um, need to polish the lights you know whatever but and a couple of little knickknacks here and there but nothing uh, critical at this point like at this point everything is more or less on point so let's take a look at the car so <clears throat> nothing really to see on this side except that uh, the lower paneling there that's not secured all the way so that has to be secured wheel wells they also have to go back in the place the righteous place inside the car here the airbag was replaced and that airbag didn't come out that's good the curtain airbag is replaced and the seat belt airbag like the seat belts both rears are replaced nothing really to see inside the car it needs a detail internally <clears throat> but <clears throat> it works as it used to be like basically nothing really changed with the soft clothes on this side works but it's quite delayed it's not the door issue it's the pump issue but eventually it comes up to its senses and this is um, what's most important what happened to the area that was damaged and here's the car basically as you can see it it's all there now it runs and drives you know so I just never have time to finish it off because there are little things that <clears throat> you still want to kind of get to like this little crack on the light here right so the water gets in there the light gets dirty so I might want to replace it but if I replace it I would like to tint it the way that it was tinted before so I would like to do that fuel filler door I have to attach uh, this little thing right for the cap I just washed the car because it hasn't been washed in like forever I just had it parked away for a while I have to put the covering for the shock absorber a rear shock absorber because that thing gave me problems and now <clears throat> it's trouble free suspension is on point doesn't drop or anything uh, the C pillar here has to come on uh, go back on I have it uh, in the workshop it's all glued up I just have to reinstall it but again I never have time for these things and uh, it's very annoying that the cars just sit here because other cars always jump the line like see like this one has to be washed and what have you ideally I have to detail it yep so that's that so this is what it looks like in here see all this dirt this piece has to go back in little trim pieces well, this thing was kind of damaged a little bit but we have to kind of make it work yeah. put it down lower I guess uh, maybe not maybe it won't go anymore whatever yeah maybe this this like a little bump here this might need to be grinded down a little bit but as you can see from what it was to what it became oh yeah i know why i couldn't put these in i needed the the tiny little plastic clips here 
to run screws into them yeah but again you know this thing is always on the you know on the back burner because I got other cars I don't really need to get this thing done as soon as possible so it just sits there that's why the tires the rubber is bold as hell this is absolutely unusable dry rotted and everything the rims were finished but um, I'm going to change the rubber only when I get this car ready to be on the road because um, there's no point if I put new rubber on then it's going to be pretty much squared out right because it will be sitting again I have to realign the door a little bit just a smirch because I think that area right there and bottom area I have to actually move the door in, in this axis just slightly and then once it's moved in this axis just to bring that side together closer like and then I can move the lock and it's going to be whatever that's the body man my body body uh, body man did this so other than that it's all there um, so I don't really have any issues with that now we're going to <coughs> go and start it up you can see that it actually runs because I'm going to repark it back into the storage SRS light is lit because there is a issue with SRS but um, yeah I still have an SRS issue I think my clock spring is not good so we have to deal with the clock spring suspension car goes up and down vehicle is rising so it's all there the SRS but anyway I have somebody coming by so I'm going to cut this video quits and the car is alive so I'm gonna make some more videos about other little trims when I'm ready to uh, do the trims. All right, Victor here is StoryMercedes.com. Talk to you later.